think we are live everywhere. Come on in everybody, happy Mother's Day. I'm running the dishwasher, so there's a little bit of background noise. This is really me at home, <laughs> so I appreciate your understanding. <sighs> For anybody new here, please allow me to introduce myself to you. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher, and I'd like to welcome you to another struggle cooking class. This is a Maggie family production today. I got the boys upstairs and they have said they want to make sushi today. So I'm gonna show them how to make some easy sushi wraps that you all can also make. Uh, we've made, I hear feet y'all. It's, like, it's like a wildebeest on the Serengeti. But uh, come on in, sit back and relax. I am not a proper chef. I am not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Clearly, I like to eat. I know you have made me aware. Well, I already knew really, so we're working on that over here. Whatever brings you here, you are most welcome. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Okay, I just heard thunder. So we're just gonna go straight into it. I don't know if we're gonna have any technical difficulties. I hope not, but buckle up buttercup and let's see what we can do today. All right, so let me take attendance. We'll clean the counter, wash my hands, get on my uniform, and then we will get started. Uh, I have linked the recipe in the description. I've also tagged it in um, Instagram. So if anybody wants to cook along, you'll need some seaweed sheets, the rice of your choice, um, avocado, smoked salmon, cucumber, green onion, and a few other seasonings. So let me go ahead and take attendance so we can get started. We're not ready yet. Do you want to say hello? All right. One of the gong gongs is here. Alex, please introduce yourself. My name is Alex. Mm -hmm. And and who are you to me? Your son. That is correct. That is taller than you. Okay. Yes, you're taller than me. So what? I still got a wooden spoon. The boy. I still got a wooden spoon for your backside if you act up. Let me take attendance. I'm going to get the ingredients ready. I'll make one for a demo and then I'll call you and your brother down. So give me about 20, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. oh, Yes, it's raining hard, y'all. It's raining over here, all right? So let's see who do we have. We have uh, Beverly, hello, Tony, hello, uh, Jody the Mo, uh, Jasmine. Thank you all so much for being here, Bole. Um, thank you so much for being here, TikTok. All right, who do we have? <laughs> hello, Bria, thank you for being here. Renato says, hi, Maggie, hello, thank you for being here, all done. That's what the kids used to say when they were done eating. A hey, Curtis, thank you for being here. Paige is here, hello, sweetheart, thank you for being here. MJ, oh my goodness, hello, everyone. Bria says, happy Mother's Day, thank you, sweetheart. Hello, Mark, hello, everybody coming in. Ooh. And let's see who we have over here, we have did I not put my stuff on Do Not Disturb? Let me do it now before. Yeah, it's on Do Not Disturb. These kids. Hello, B. Marie. She says, hi, Maggie. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I appreciate that. I got some flowers behind me. I'm going to put these yellow roses in a vase. Yellow roses are my absolute favorite. And then the second is uh, white roses. I think they just give me the sunshine. Um effect. Hello, Marcello. Thank you. We got Chelsea. Hello, my dear. Happy Mother's Day to you, Chelsea. Shout out, shout out from Texas. Uh, shout out to the South. We have Tasha Arnett. She says, good evening. Happy Mother's Day, Maggie. Thank you for the kisses and the purple hearts. I appreciate that. We have Geneva here saying hello, Maggie. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you so much for being here. Now there's something on the floor. I have taught both boys how to cook. They don't always clean up so well, though. Mm. And Mona's here. She says, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. If you prefer to watch from the clouds, you are most welcome here. All right, so let's get the counter cleaned off. Let this air dry. And I'll get my... Oh, it's coming down. Can y'all hear that? Aw, who do we have here? Miss Strong in the house. I saw your picture with your little one. I have my church pictures too. I haven't um, posted them yet. I'll make a little reel. But happy Mother's Day to you. 
Oh, in my mind, Mother's Day is a day off. Clearly, I'm in the kitchen, but it's okay. It's a labor of love. We went to see Nana today, so the boys got to see their grandma. There's four days out of the year that I like to take the day off. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, my birthday, and Christmas. Other than that, I don't mind to cook every day. So I'll cook 361 days instead of 365. All right. Let's clean our hands. All right, so I have a video for you all. This is another Instagram reel. This one has gone viral. It's got millions of views. This is actually from a vegan, so she's using tofu. We are not vegan. We are going to use smoked salmon here. However, if you are a vegan or vegetarian scholar, feel free to use the protein or tofu of your choice. <laughs> I know, mother's job is never done. Can you please give me the iPad? I think it's over here, the one with the brown cover. All right. I'm going to show you all what we're making and then uh, we'll get the ingredients out. Uh, this sushi is going to be another uh, recipe that is great for uh, kids. Let me clean this off. Okay, so this sushi wrap that I'm going to show you all is a great option. It's a watch out the trash can for kids or picky eaters. Um, Another of those assembly meals, you know, we've talked about that kind of like uh, taco bar, nacho bar, um, anything that, that is um, pizzas. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Anything that is customizable, this is a great uh, menu option. Uh, and one of the things I learned from one of you all scholars, sushi itself is not raw fish. It's going to be the assembly of the seaweed wrap and the rice and ingredients. Sashimi is the raw fish. Okay, so we are not doing uh, raw fish. If you want to, you absolutely can. But I'm here just to share with y'all what I've learned. Okay, so let me pull this up so you can see. Um, so I'm going to go into my saved folders. Y'all know I use my Instagram saved folders for all of these recipes that come across my timeline. We're not ready yet. Do you need something? I'm not just standing here watching. <sighs> okay. <sighs> all right. So let me find this recipe for y'all. Um, and you could also do this. If you're vegan, you could do tofu. If you're vegetarian, you could do... Uh, boiled egg. Uh, you could do whatever you like. Have it your way, Burger King. All right. I'll say this twice so you all can see. All right. Well, first, so oh, this is her Sienna Lise, and this is the video. All right. Let's see if there's any sound. Oh, it's just music. No. <laughs> We don't want to strike. All right, so you guys can see here what she's doing. So she has the uh, seaweed paper, so we have that. Um, this is very similar to the omelet wrap that we made yesterday. All right, so we're going to use the seaweed sheet. And then that white circle is the rice paper. If you all have seen me do the spring rolls or any of those type of egg roll substitutes, we have that as an option. Then we're gonna cut that slit in the middle. She does rice, tofu, avocado, and cucumber, and then she sprinkles it with, I think it's mayo, some type of sauce, maybe soy sauce, uh, sesame seeds, and then we're just gonna fold it, and the kids can eat that as a sandwich, all right? So that is the plan for today. All right, so just so you all see, oh my gosh, oh, Jeff, <laughs> thank you. I just received a cash app, but it was for a console. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so you all can see here, we've got the sushi paper, the rice paper, then we've got rice. She's using tofu, avocado, and cucumber. All right, so this is what we're gonna make, and I did tag the recipe creator in the description. Thank you, Avant says, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you, Jasmine. Okay, we'll go ahead and put Jasmine up on the board since it came during a stream. <clears throat> Jasmine's coming through with the heavy hands. Might as well. Oh. And we're gonna get our ingredients out. And again, this is a no cook recipe. So if you don't have a stove or you don't wanna use the stove, 
you don't have to. All right. So we have a $60 cash app from Jasmine. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. We're going to put her up on the board as the stream sponsor. The stream sponsor is the person that gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, buy me a coffee, gold doubloons, send a raven, whatever. I just appreciate y'all being here, but when you go above and beyond, it really makes my day. And as a mom, I appreciate you. So thank you so much. Let me get Jasmine on the board. Ha, my assistant. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. I have an assistant. All right, let me get my uniform on. Would you like to bring me my apron? It's hanging right here. It's the brown one that just says Maggie, the substitute teacher. Hello, friends. Hello, hello, MC. Hello, Sheila. All right. Do you want, you can go ahead and put yours on. Not right now? All right. Oh, we do have Maggie merch, you all know. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> the OnlyFans merch is available as well. But since it's Mother's Day, we are going to wear the Maggie merch. Oh, Sapa Dill says, Happy Mother's Day, Auntie Maggie. You're amazing. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Believe me. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So the Maggie aprons are available in the store. This is the long. You can see it's got, can you pick that up for me? It's got uh, pockets, three different colors, three different sizes, including kid sizes on Mother's Day. And you can customize them for free with your name or whatever you like. Uh, aprons are about $20. All right. All right. So let's get our, in can you go do that over there, please? All right, so let's get our ingredients out so that we can assemble this first one. All right, so I'm gonna get the cutting board. Depending on what you're gonna put inside your um, uh, sushi wrap, you may have to chop a few things. So we do have some cucumber and we do have some avocado. So I am gonna chop that and then we're just gonna put the ingredients together in some um, like pinch bowls uh, so that the kids can assemble themselves and me as well, all right? All right, so for the boys, I have sushi rice for them. Um, it's actually a sticky rice and actual rice. I'm going to do a cauliflower rice, so I'll show you all both options if you want the low-carb version as well. All right, you know what? Let's do this here. So I do have some green onion already prepped. I bought these, I don't know when, and cut them. This would be a great, like whatever you have in the fridge meal, whatever veggies you have, peppers, um, whatever you think would go well with Asian flavors. Mm, very oniony. <sighs> so I have some spring onion already cut up. So I'm just gonna put a few of these inside the um, uh, pinch bowl here. If you're good at meal prepping, this is something that you can do on a Sunday, like this Sunday. On a, I was gonna say cruising on a Sunday afternoon. Da da da. All right. So you can get your veggies chopped up. That way, they're easy and ready to go for omelets, for um, soups, uh, for salads, for tacos, whatever you want. Have it your way, Burger King. And again, this is another one of those assembly meals that's going to be great for the kiddos or picky kids. This is a good way to get them exposed to different veggies. And you'd be surprised. We eat what we see. Mona says, hello and happy Mother's Day, Kia. Happy Mother's Day. Kia says, hello, Maggie and class. Happy Mother's Day. All the amazing moms. I hope y'all are well. Absolutely. You too, my dear. Oh, dear. Let's see. I have some cucumbers. They're looking kind of sad. Let's see if I have one that's looking better than that. All right. 
So I've got a partial cucumber in here. We're gonna rinse this off. It's starting to get a little bit soft, but I think we can salvage it. We're gonna rinse this off and we're going to just slice it thin. A little goes a long way with these sandwich wraps. Anytime you're doing tacos or anything that you're filling, a little goes a long way. So we don't need that much, but let me just rinse it off. Make sure it's fresh. All right, it's starting to get a little soft. I don't like to waste, and y'all know groceries are expensive. Who do we have here? Mallory Braswell. She says, hello, everyone. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms, future moms, and the wannabe moms. Absolutely. You all know that I have multiple interests. There are many facets of Maggie. So while I am cutting this uh, cucumber, I'm just going to cut the edge off. I'll give you guys, not story time, but I like to give you all some etiquette information that I've learned. So I'm just going to take the end piece off and toss this one so we have a fresh, clean, crisp side. So I've done a lot of work to refine myself, a lot of uh, classes. I've invested thousands in etiquette, elegance, public speaking, all of that stuff, just, you know, for my own personal reasons. Um, but one of the things that I learned that was actually quite interesting, there are many sides to femininity, okay? You don't have to do it like I do it. Um, there are several categories. You can be feminine classic. Fem feminine classic, think like your Jackie O, um, your Michelle Obama, very stately. Uh, can sometimes be a little bit, you know, older, but uh, feminine classic is basically like your, your Chanel, your Audrey Hepburn, that kind, that's feminine classic. Then the next one that I studied is your, this is not me, feminine seductive, okay? So think of your, um, I was gonna say like Dita Von Teese or Selma Hayek or any of these women that are very sultry, very sensual. You know, it doesn't have to be vulgar, but just really exude that type of the feminine mystique, right? And then the next type of feminine uh, femininity uh, characteristic that I studied, I think matches me, is um, there's feminine girly, which can be quite juvenile, but, you know, think of somebody that's youthful, somebody that's got a lot of energy, um, can be, can look a little bit naive, but just like the innocent side of uh, femininity. And then the last one, well, no, there's two more, sorry. Feminine, um, <laughs> hello, Keisha, thank you so much for being here. Happy Mother's Day. Um, then there's feminine um, nurturing, which on Mother's Day, I think that's very important. I think that one speaks to me as well. You don't have to be one particular style. You can blend, and I think I blend. So feminine nurturing, obviously, is very caring, very loving, um, hospitable, um, you know, sacrifices for others. Just, you know, those type of feminine characteristics, the nurturing side. And then the last one that I studied is feminine fashionista. That is also not me. But if you think of, hello, everybody coming in. If you think of like um, a model or uh, someone who's got the latest uh, trendy clothing, someone that's always like dressed to the nines and just always put together, maybe a little bit risque, not in their behavior, but in their fashion, like bold choices, matching patterns and colors and all of that stuff. So happy Mother's Day. Um, but yeah, that, that nurturing, I think I'm a blend of feminine nurturing and feminine girly. I'm working my way towards feminine classic. And I think as I age and mature, you all know that I want to age gracefully. Um, but these are just some of the things that I nerd out about. Uh, some of y'all care, some of y'all don't. So I just thought I'd share that with you while I'm slicing this uh, cucumber thin. If you all are interested in more of that, thank you, Mr. Uh, MC. I appreciate that. If you all are interested in more of that, I do have a Patreon. There's a $1 level and there's a $5 level. And I pretty much post every day the work that I'm learning, the different ways that um, uh -oh, the different ways that uh, I'm working on uh, refining uh, for my own personal development. 
It could be for a relationship. It could be for business. It could be for uh, meeting the in-laws or potential in-laws. But um, I just like sharing with you all. Oh, Keisha says, can you pin the cruise info for my sister and I want to go? All right, let me put that here. Y'all, we had someone reserved today. So I'm sure Lauren will come by. Um, but I think we have five ocean views left, balconies left. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, we're having a Maggie meetup later this year. It is in or um, the Bahamas and we sail out of Orlando, Port Canaveral. So you can see here. And uh, if you all wanna meet me, I'd love to meet you. We'll do more of these types of chats. Um, I'll bring gifts for you all. I'll actually celebrate my birthday on the cruise. And uh, I think it'll just be a great way to get together. The deposit is due tomorrow, the 15th, if you wanna reserve your room. Um, the website is right there. And I think it's linked in the description as well. Royal Caribbean, I don't get <laughs> any money from this. We actually have a scholar who is a travel agent and anybody is welcome if you wanna come you know, by yourself or with your uh, family or kiddos, everything I do is always family friendly. We'll have like one meet and greet and whatever else y'all wanna do if you wanna hang out or if you wanna keep to yourself, it's totally up to you. Um, so deposit to hold your room is due tomorrow. It's $200. And then the balance is due by September 1st. So you can pay any way that you want to pay over time or all at once. Thank you, Anna. Hello. Um, and I would love to see you all on the high seas. Okay. So I think we're good. Ah, Marquis says, thank you for explaining the different types of fem sides of femininity. I can understand my mom and my sister better from that information. Oh, really? Thank you so much for saying that. You know, y'all, I used to keep all this stuff to myself because I didn't think anybody would care. I nerd out on this. But um, if you all are interested, I am going to come out with a basic course. But then also, um, I'm going to start doing more of these like Q&As, ask me anything so you all can pick my brain. I'm not a professional. I'm a student of this stuff and I enjoy it. So I'm just sharing it with you all. All right. So we're done with our cucumber. This was just about half a cucumber, but you can see we've gotten lots of slices here. So when I tell you all, you know, this is the stuff that I do to kind of refine. There's actually like really a science behind it and a lot of work. Um, I enjoy it. Workbooks and homework assignments. If you saw my um, my reel today, I went to the ballet yesterday, which always just inspires me. Um, if you want to promote femininity in yourself, you know, part of the work we do is putting yourself in those environments that kind of promote that softer side of you. I love the arts. So... For me, it's the ballet, it's the symphony. For you, it might be fresh flowers or you know a spa, but there's lots of ways to uh, promote that. All right, because the world that we live in and the corporate world and all that can be very masculine. I want to maintain my softness. All right, so we have some fresh cucumber sliced here. So we have these ready to go. Mr. Mr. Lamb Seen says that femininity is severely lacking nowadays. Thank you for sharing these precious gems out here. You are so welcome, kind sir. But yes, and I meet with my etiquette teacher once a month. So some of y'all ask me questions. I have answers for you. I just need to type them or we'll do a stream. So yes, more to come. So we have green onion and we have avocado. I do have smoked salmon. And then we are going to... Put the rice in the microwave and uh, I think we're ready to assemble. All right, so I'll give you all some options. So this is just smoked salmon from your grocery store um, refrigerated section. So you kind of want to take this out if you can, maybe like 30 minutes before. Smoked salmon, just like cheeses and whatnot. If you can allow them to kind of come to room temperature or close to room temperature before you consume them. It really allows the flavor to you know, be more pronounced. If you eat it right out of the fridge, that's fine. But sometimes when it's cold, you don't taste it as well on the palate. So this is not raw fish, this is smoked salmon and you can see it's already sliced up. So y'all can see that. So we're just gonna leave this right here for our assembly. We have Celine, hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. Oh. Kia says, I'm definitely a feminine classic, nurturing, and a bit girly. Exactly. 
I am feminine girly and I want to work on my feminine classic. Um, but I've always been feminine nurturing. That's just who I am. I mean, y'all, y'all can tell I love taking care of people. Oh, y'all enjoy this stuff. Oh my goodness. If you want me to do more of that, usually I just talk about the food because, you know, I don't want to bore anybody who doesn't care about that stuff. But if you all want me to incorporate more of what I'm learning in my studies, I'm happy to do that. I just didn't think anybody would care. Celine had salmon tonight. Oh, yummy. Okay. Let's see what we can do with the avocado now. Oh, I'm just so happy that y'all think about that or y'all enjoy that. I'm thinking about it now. So, you know, in the work that I've done, there are different things like you take a test to find out your like natural feminine style. And if you want to, like for me, if I want to move from more girly into more um, classic, uh, wearing more classic cuts, the pearls, uh, making sure my posture, making sure my speech, like all of these things that help me uh, come across the way that I want to be seen. Some people can be seen very seductive and that hurts them if they want to be taken more seriously, right? So there's all, it's just so much. Ah, Frank, uh, FTFW says, uh, you really care? Okay, good. I'm glad you all care. Mr. Cares and y'all love avocado. Okay, so Celine says I need to work on walking lighter in a more feminine way. Yes. Oh my goodness. The whole deportment, how we stand, how we sit, how we carry ourselves. It's a whole like module in the courses. And um, that's something that I had to work on. Um, but here's a little tip. Uh, elegant women are never hurried or rushed. So make sure that you plan your schedule in a time for you to move gracefully. Um, I used to pull up on two wheels and just running through like a crazy person. That is not elegant. So I have to work on that. And you all see me bust out into my silly side. Oh, you're not girly. You're comfortable as you are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Kia says, I need to work on feminine classic because I'm not all the way there. You're either girly and nurturing. Yeah, I totally understand. Thank you, Bonnie. Celine says, I'm a very attentive listener. Okay. And Wilbert says, I am masculine petty. Well, our lesson is over. Petty, Mr. Petty Power, a high value hero is in the house. All right, y'all. So we're going to cut up some avocado for this uh, sushi. Ah. There's so much that I want to share with you all. We'll be doing more of this in the Patreon for those of y'all that are really interested. I asked her for a soft avocado, y'all. This one, I'm a little suspect. We'll see. But I do have a half, half avocado from yesterday. So just so you all can see, um, the avocado, if you put it in water, like flesh side down, it'll keep in the fridge without browning on you. So we have our avocado. So it's a little soft. Sorry, it's loud. Let me see what I can slice for you. And we'll have a little... Just peel off the skin carefully. But yeah, this is the stuff that I do. I don't know, when I grow up one day, maybe I'll... We'll see. So many options, so many things that I'm interested in. I'm just trying to... Let me put this down so I don't destroy it. I'm try and get nice little slices. Okay, I got most of it off clean, but it's a little mushy. One's too soft, one is too hard. Uh, we need one that's just right, Goldilocks, right? And that is not elegant. Licking your fingers like that. I try, y'all. I'm not perfect. I know. I see the comments. Believe me. <laughs> but it's never about being perfect. You know, whenever, in all seriousness, whenever you want to uh, work on self-development, whether it's your um, speech, whether it's your, you know, um, the way you dress, whether it's any kind of skill. You've never mastered your craft, even this cooking. I can always get better. All right. 
Uh, is that tap water? Yes, that was just regular tap water on the avocado. All right, so let's see if we can just All right, just pressing it down. See if we can get a nice little, <laughs> hey, Sabrina. Tracy says, thanks for the tip. You're welcome, sweetheart. All right, so we've got our avocado here. Oh, hello, um, everybody coming in. All right. Okay. Oh, so Chelsea says, I'm cooking dinner and watching, listening. You're making cabbage pizza tonight. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome. All right, y'all. I know these kids like avocado. I'm going to see if this other one, I just placed a grocery order today. That's why I had to delay a little bit. I asked her to find a ripe one. Ah, uh, Taneka says, I think we're always perfect. And even if you improve yourself, you're still you, just a perfect version of you. Beautifully said. All right. So let's see if we can cut into here and go around this seed. Ugh, shouldn't be this difficult. I got a bad feeling. I got a feeling that I'm not gonna get avocado, that I'm not gonna get avocado, that I'm not gonna get avocado. Yeah, it's really, it's not coming off easy. All right, y'all. We're just going to use what we have. No. Okay. We'll just take what we have. Put that in there. I know these kids are going to use it all up. And I'm going to eat this. You can also use avocado mash or guacamole. Okay. Um... Rice, 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 baby. Let's cook. Let's cook. Sabrina said you were going to send me this recipe. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Condemned. I appreciate our moderators are always here watching from the clouds and protecting. Oh, I just ripped it open. Okay, y'all, this is what I ordered. Annie Chun's, this is sticky white rice. Okay, so this I'm gonna just put in the microwave. So this is already cooked rice. So you can see here, I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave. Now, rice for sushi uh, is sticky because you want the fish to stick on it, right? Um, and so it has like rice wine vinegar in it. It has um, the mirin. Um, I'll get the ingredients out so you all can see. But this is what I bought. If you already have white rice cooked, I'll show you what you can put in there to make it sticky. All right, so let's see. Uh, peel back and heat for one minute. Oh, can't open it, y'all. Let's peel, there we go. Let me peel back. Let's put this in the microwave for one minute. Okay, so let's clean this off and I'll use this as my workspace so you all can see. All right, I'm gonna get the sesame seeds. So you can get these at the dollar store, just sesame seeds. We're gonna sprinkle this on everything. We have our salmon. This avocado was not ready. Um, if you're going to use just avocado, if you think it's kind of bland, you can also do some avocado toast seasoning, optional. Hello, hello. You've been trying that taco salad? <laughs> hello. Sabrina says that brand is good of the rice. Thank you. Hello, Luke Casey says, happy Mother's Day to the wonderful good mothers of the world. Absolutely. Oh, yes, you can get uh, microwave rice. And if you don't have the sticky rice, I'll show you all a couple things. Yeah. 
if you have regular rice lying around or like takeout rice, you can put a little bit of rice vinegar, which is the acid. Uh, gives it a little bit of that tang, a little bit of that kick. And then this rice wine, this is a sweet rice wine. So these two you can put into your regular rice to get them uh, sticky for you. Okay, so now our bread. Um, all right, so we have the sheets here. So we have the sushi nori sheets. These are the big ones. This is what we're going to use. Now this recipe, you can see she's also using the rice paper. So I have these uh, rice pancakes. You guys have seen me do the spring rolls before if you're interested in veggie rolls. So I haven't made this recipe before with them layered, but we are going to try them together. If I don't like it, you can always do it just with the seaweed paper. All right, so let's get our rice out for the kids, and then I'm gonna show you a low carb version. All right, so this is rice cauliflower. You can see this is from Publix, just their regular, um, doesn't have to be organic, but it's basically cauliflower, the vegetable, uh, into little grains. And that way you can avoid the starch from rice, but it gives you the rice experience. So I'm gonna put this steam bag in the microwave. Um, if you have a whole head of cauliflower, you can grate it as well on a grater and get little um, pieces of cauliflower. All right, so five minutes. All right, so we have this uh, microwave Annie Chung's uh, rice. So this was just microwave for one minute. So I'm gonna pull it back so you all can see. This will be for the boys. <sighs> but you can see how it's kind of got that sticky sheen to it. All right, so this is what's gonna be good for sushi rice. That way you can eat it with like chopsticks, okay? You don't want the like crumbly rice that's gonna fall apart on you. So there is a difference. So you can buy the sticky rice. You can also buy the one, I'll just keep this here, stays a little bit warm. It doesn't have to be warm. Oh, dishwasher's done. <laughs> okay, one other option. I don't have it, but you can also get rice in little packs like this in the rice section that's already cooked and you put it in the microwave. Um, they also have sticky rice like this. So you can get it in a bowl like this, or you can get it in a little pack like this, microwave it for a minute, tear it off, and you're ready to go with sticky rice for your sushi. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So we are using smoked salmon here. It gives you that bold, smoky, salty flavor. But this is, you know, more expensive. This could be great for a date night, though. So you're going to pay like, I don't know, $10, $11 for something like this. Or you can get this smoked salmon, the chicken of the sea. This one's going to cost you about 2 or $3. And what I like about this, it's skinless and boneless. And instead of the salmon in the can that has the water that you have to drain it, uh, you love the corn. Is that what that is? Um, instead of the salmon that has to drain, now that's kind of like wet and messy, this one, if you open it, it's just the actual flakes of fish. And you can get this at the grocery store too. So just like giving you all some options. Okay. So let's open up our sushi paper. So this is what I'm using. Oh, it's the same brand. I just noticed this. Annie Chums. So this should go well. So if you go to your grocery store and uh, go to the... Um, the Asian section, maybe you can find something like this. Be careful when you're ordering online because they have the seaweed snacks, which are like chip size. You want the one that says sheets, okay? You want the one that is uh, the nori sheets. And uh, let's open this, cup this up. This has been approved for me and only 10 calories. So if you don't mind kind of that fishy taste, it actually goes really well with some proteins. Um, you can use this like maybe in, in place of sandwich bread if you wanted to do something low carb. Chelsea says, I'm not good at cooking rice. I need to try that. Ah, Christina says, hi, Maggie. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm making artichoke spinach dip and bacon stuffed jalapenos and shrimp scampi. That sounds incredible. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. 
I think I need a beverage. <laughs> oh. And my mouth is watering, but you all know I always tell you, ladies, drink out of a glass. Simple things like this you can do for free that are just more elegant. If you want to do it like a dude, be my guest. But little dollar store glass, pour your beverage, and take small silent sips. Hey, you ready? You want to introduce five and six. Can you come introduce yourself since you just uh, photobombed my? It's a video. I think you uh, we had the same thing on yesterday. Okay, who are you? Can you introduce yourself? You're hungry, of course. Okay, so I'm getting everything. You gonna toss that for me? All right, this is my. So this is Marcus, my oldest, Swim Shady. <laughs> my uh, oldest, Marcus, is 15. All right, let me get you your apron. Oh. Yeah. And we'll get Alex down. The other one. The boys are going to make their own. Really? Yes, here you go. Like, wow. Marcus is a swimmer affectionately known as Swim Shady. Because he's uh, moody and slim. I'm not moody. Yes, you I'm are. not slim either. Okay, whatever it is. How do I get this on? Oh my goodness. And then we'll get Alex's here. Oh, what? can you move that away from my food, please? Your food? Oh. Yes, Christina says she's having wine. Yes, trust me. I know. <laughs> okay. Your ladies. So the cauliflower rice is done. She said ladies. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate one. Can you can you stand back here? You want me to tie it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> ah. <laughs> exactly. What do you mean exactly? All right, let All right, me- tighten it. Okay. okay, you went the wrong way, babe. One moment, please. Ouch. Let me know when. I don't feel safe. Okay. Much better. So let's model our aprons. I know you're like, really, Mom? So I have the long. Can you step back? Oh. I have the long. Marcus has the standard, so you can see. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, I'm going to make some cauliflower rice, and then we're just going to get started. Did you? What? They said you ate the cucumber? You guys are so, ugh. Number one, we don't touch our hair while we're cooking. Please wash your hands. Can I, can I get a hair net? I will give you a hair net. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Who said that? <laughs> Condemn me, he's watching. I always feel like my scholar's watching you. And you have no privacy. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. I always feel like my scholar's watching you. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, all right, focus, this boy. Uh, yes, we have smoked salmon here, and we also have the pink salmon, so we are doing fish. Um, I will show you all, I'll show you all this fish, and I'll leave the smoked salmon for the kids. Oh, you got fish? Yeah, which salmon do you want, babe? Do you want the smoked salmon or this salmon? Can you speak? The yeah. smoked salmon? Okay. All right, so I'm going to show you all. I'm going to make one, and then I'm going to let the kids make their own. <laughs> Hello. Y'all are laughing at me. Okay, so cauliflower rice. Do you want me to, um, can you give me like 30 seconds to? No problem, yep. Anything you need. One more, and that's it. This boy. <sighs> okay. Let me, let me get the, the rice rice. All right, so let me show you all a quick little hack if you have rice. Aw, thank you, Ron Alexander, I appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna get, this is just the steam bag of cauliflower rice, okay? You don't need a whole lot. I have the sticky rice. I have the sticky rice, babe. Oh. I'm gonna show them mine. Oh, yeah, they show them the moment. Okay, so here is, y'all, these kids. Here is the rice cauliflower. It's hot, so I'm gonna scoop out a little bit. But there's the rice cauliflower. 
They said your mom's really cool. <laughs> That's the worst thing that he wants to hear. They say your mom is cool. Okay, never mind. I've seen you been introduced in the echo chamber. I mean, yeah, <laughs> they won't let me be great. Let me, yes, he's gonna eat it all. Okay, let me show you how to do your own uh, sticky rice, okay? Wait a minute. You actually figured out what you're doing? No, I bought you sticky yeah, rice, but I'm doing all that. I'm doing low. It actually looks good. <laughs> Y'all, these kids. Okay, so let's say we have rice. So I'm using, just to show you all, the riced cauliflower, okay? So I have some of this. So let's say you have leftover rice, takeout rice, whatever. For me, this is the low carb. The kids will use the um, regular rice, okay? So I don't need a whole, whole lot. I'll move that out of the way. <sighs> Christina has four boys. Oh my gosh. Happy Mother's Day to you. I'm outnumbered and overpowered over here. Thank you, everybody. Uh oh. Thank you, everybody, for joining. All right. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Okay. So you can use just this rice or cauliflower rice, no problem. Thank you, Carlos. My first time seeing you here. Thank you for bringing the snacks. So a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Now by itself, it's gonna be very bland, especially cauliflower. So just, you know, do this to taste, but we're gonna get the rice wine vinegar, all right? And we're gonna put just a splash in here. And then we're going to do equal parts of the sweet cooking rind. Only do this if you don't already have the sticky rice, okay? So we have the sweet cooking rind. Now this does have sugar in it, okay? So we just, a little. And then you can stir it up, stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. And it'll give you that tang and it'll give you a little bit of, um, sheen so that it's a little stickier for your sushi okay let me taste it mm. now i was a little heavy on the vinegar but it's fine i'm going to use soy sauce for me so i'm using the gluten-free soy sauce the boys will not get soy so if you want to substitute you don't want to give soy, soy boy we don't want any soy boys so a substitute for <laughs> you just said that you know what that means? No. So don't tell me now. <laughs> Y'all know I don't know. Okay, so for the boys, they're going to have coconut amino. So this is a soy-free substitute that gives them the soy sauce flavor, okay? So mom is going to have soy sauce. We're not going to... Y'all see? <laughs> Could you be loved? Oh, Carlos says a teen can be proud of his mom's only pants. Yeah. Hmm? You know I'm not on OnlyFans, but you know where you can find me? You won't find Maggie on OnlyFans, but you will find Maggie on OnlyPants. You like my apron? <laughs> What's wrong? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? OnlyPants? Okay, you know what? I thought it was funny. Back to the recipe. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm here for food. You're here for food. Okay. What else you, you guys watch. I'm going to make my version and then you're all ready to go. Okay. So a little bit of soy sauce or a lot. Now you can dip in soy sauce after you make it. To me, that gets messy. So my little hack is to put it in the rice. That's just me. So you get that soy sauce flavor without uh, having to dip because the seaweed paper to me gets kind of wet and uh, a little bit hard to chew. All right. So you can make your sticky rice or for me, sticky cauliflower rice. Oh yeah. Wow. I don't want to know right now. <laughs> Let me keep my ignorance. Mm -hmm. They're laughing at me mm -hmm. and I don't know why they're laughing and I don't want to know. Do not say it. If you say it, you will not eat. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Focus. Okay. Everybody ready? We have everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you go get the, um, the mayo from the mail? mayo okay. from your fridge? Please. Mayo. I'm gonna give you all the um, smoked salmon. Okay. 
I see you behind my eyes. It's not, that's not how eyes work. Okay, one other little hack. Excuse me. Okay. I'm going to give the boys the smoked salmon. Uh, no, the mayo, not Miracle Whip. Well, I don't. That's fine. Whip, that's the only mayo we have. Focus, Daniel, son. Y'all. If you're not doing smoked salmon and you're using the pink salmon, an another little hack, this is a good way to save money. This is the one that I'll do. So you all can see you get the the salmon fish without the bones and without the water. All right. Not as presentable, but you still get that fishy flavor. That's all we got. Okay, fine. Um, to make the sauce, excuse me. You need Texas Roadhouse hot sauce. No, we just need the regular mayo. I'll grab it. There's no mayo. I know we have the Hellman's. How does he get that hair under his swimming cap? I don't know, Marcus. How do you get all that hair under your swimming oh, cap? Oh, you got a super stick, Mama. Oh, really? Oh. Thank you. Here I come. It's, it's called water. Yeah. You wet it first, right? What happens when you wet it? It deflates? Yes, Mom. It loses its air pressure. Ah, you have air pressure. Uh, Y'all! Stop killing food, Alex. That's selfish. She's about to cook for you. Be patient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Welcome, everyone. Y'all are laughing at me. Okay. Oh, gosh. Thank you for the $1.99, Carlos. I receive it gratefully. I don't take it for granted. Okay, just showing y'all one last hat. I couldn't find the um, mayo and sriracha, okay? So if you have the canned uh, salmon or canned tuna, drain it. Two ingredients, regular mayo, or this is Miracle Whip, and sriracha. We're going to stir these together to make a paste. Now, I am going to use my calorie-free Walden Farms, but you can use mayo. Stop, please stop. Please stop. Thank you. Okay, and then sriracha. So it could be tuna, it could be salmon, it could be anything. Shake, shake, shake. All right, and then some hot sauce. Kind of equal portions or two taste, okay? And then stir it up. You could also do the sauce separately and do it like a dipping sauce. But I, I like having everything inside, okay? So think like tuna salad, all right? So this is what I'm going to put in mine. <laughs> you already know. Oh, Ron, thank you for the $9.99 Mother's Day shenanigans with the boys. All right, so let me give you just a quick taste. This is better. Woo! Spicy. Okay. Let me make it. Seaweed wrap. I don't know where your brother went, but. I already used to get those like seaweed packet things and I just eat some. You would just eat seaweed by itself? Yeah, it's good. It's good? Yeah, I'll shoot the seaweed back in there. You want a sheet? Here. All right. So we're going to put your seaweed wrap is uh, rough side and glossy side. I think the smooth side down. Okay, so smooth side down. And then we need to, I'm gonna use the scissors. We're gonna cut from the middle down to six o'clock. Not all the way, just one flap, okay? And then she starts with the rice. Rice, rice, baby. So cauliflower rice for me. And I'm going to kind of spread. Can you get the apron on, please? It's um, right here. And both of you, go wash your hands. I need to see that they are clean. All right. So you want to kind of spread it out a little bit. Let me get that. Okay. 
spread it out a little bit so you get a little bit of everything in the bite. And then what did she do next? Y'all, I'm all flustered, these kids. I just laughed. Okay. Um, next is the, she uses tofu, but we're not doing vegan. So I'm going to put the this is somewhat normal. salmon, smoked salmon for me. Try to spread, not smoked salmon. It's smoked, but it's the packed salmon. All right. And then avocado. I'm going to go light on avocado because we only have a half. The other one that the, I just ordered one, but it wasn't right. If you don't have avocado, boiled egg could be a good substitute if you want that creaminess. And then what was the last thing that they used? Oh, the cucumber. Is there any left? Where's your rice? Oh, crap. I forgot the rice paper. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Thank you. I forgot it, y'all. Um, I'm going to put it over top. So these are the Vietnamese rice papers. You can see they're very like, almost like a fan. So you can't eat it. I need to rinse it on water first. Please step aside. You want to rinse it on wa uh, underwater first. Hot water gets it really pliable, but I'm just going to rinse it so that we can fold it over top. All right. Wait, what happened? Okay, you don't have to use it. I'm just trying to follow this recipe. Mm. Plus, All right, I'm just soaking it in hot, the hotter water, the better. Uh oh. Okay. This stuff doesn't taste good. Okay, Marcus. So I got it a little bit pliable. It said to uh, rinse it before, and I'm going to cut it with the scissors the same way, and then just fold it and let the boys make their own. Oh, I forgot the sauce. I got sauce here. I'm gonna put the sesame seeds on. And I know she put another sauce in there. I have a hoisin, um, an oyster sauce, but at this point, fold, fold, fold. Then we'll see if we can give it a nice cut in half. And then we'll uh, yeah, actually get a plate for each of you. Uh, could you get the square plates behind me, please? I'll let you all make your own. Not as beautiful, but I'm going to give it a taste. She's a professional. Uh, mm. Get paid for your oh, I, for I forgot the onion. Okay, let me just move. They're breathing down my neck. One second, please. Okay. Nah. I can take a picture. No, yeah. I'll make another one once y'all are gone. What okay. Do you mean once Let me make gone. this bigger so everybody can see. When I'm gone, the ingredients are gone. Oh, God. Okay. I'll just put everything here. Onion. I'm going first. Oh, okay. Marcus is going to go first. Then we'll do it. My custom bowl. Okay. Here's your rice. Paper. Uh, seaweed paper is right here. Okay. Salmon. <gasps> Salmon. Do you want to use the rice, rice paper? Yeah. Figure out how that works. Take it. All right. Let me uh, wet it for you. Hey. Alex, Alex, hey. Alex, can we do one at a time, please? He's asleep. If you get it nice and wet, it's not that bad. Isn't that hot? It is hot. How do you do that? Because she's... I don't know what she is. You need another one? No, I got it. I just gotta like me all right. It's like putting on a bed sheet. I think that's to hold the seaweed together. Okay, excellent. Hey. It's okay. Aw, Christina. 
It's called The Art of Good Enough. Good Enough. Excellent. Okay. Excuse me. And we got, is this seasoned? Uh, no. Can you do the seasoning? I'll give you a cup, you can, a bowl, you can season it the way you like. May I taste this? Uh, yes, but if you could wait for a minute, that would be great. Wait, wait. Okay, here. Okay, that way. Okay, so you can put some rice in there. Here's some coconut aminos. Here's some sriracha. Here's some rice wine vinegar. But it's already sticky rice, so you can taste it oh. for, yeah, taste it first and see if you need any of that. Um, can you get your rice over there? Because he may not want some. You want soy sauce? No. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we do this? Let's separate it so we don't have a problem. Oh, it's, cool, cool, yeah. it's the same. I am using cocoa. Okay, here. You want this stuff? He wants this stuff, Mom. Okay, just make your own right over here. Okay. But you might want to taste it first. It's already got the sweet. I didn't spill it. Okay. No, I just... just some soy? Okay. So the soy sauce is, um... let me see. Is that the same type of rice Nana uses for rice balls? No. No. Nana uses jasmine rice. What's the difference? The type of rice. All right, they're saying looking good. I forgot green onion on mine, but. Excellent. Don't stop raining. Wonderful. They said it would be on and off for the rest of the day. All right, looking good. This stuff. Uh huh. Did you wash your hands? What'd you say? I, uh, I, I thank could, you, everybody, for coming in. I couldn't hear y'all over all the noise. What'd you say? Uh huh. What? What'd you say? Nothing. Go ahead, make your sushi wrap. That's a lot of people watching your Instagram. I know. Actually, it's my Instagram. Looking good. You know, you know what this is called? What is it called? Um, there we go. Okay. This yeah. is a sushi wrap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me give you a different for uh, here. Let me do this for you. You don't want to cross kick. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Looks really good. Now notice on, oh, I'll wait for you. Okay, so notice on her, she put some sesame seeds. If you want sesame seeds. You have that? Yes, I have sesame seeds. And then she also put a little bit of mayo, but she didn't put any seasoning in her uh, rice. And then she also drizzled it with some sauce. I have some oyster sauce and I have sesame oil, optional. Whoops. Do you want to taste it first? Okay. What are sesame seeds? Seeds from Sesame Street. That makes sense. Is, is, is it too thick? Yeah, it's thick. Molasses. Oh. All right. If you don't like it, really, Marcus. Okay, you don't have to use it. <laughs> All right, you can go ahead and fold it up. <laughs> You're like, what's the name? The, uh, the trash can Sesame Street. Got okay. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, I did something. You did it. How is it? Hello. Seeds from Sesame Street. You see what I'm dealing with over here? Uh, how it, oh, wrong one. 
How is it? Uh, can you take your plate and let your brother come? <laughs> Over here. Tastes like sushi. All right, Alex, do you want the rice paper? No, thank you. No, thank oh, you? Yeah, you have some hot sauce. Yeah, what, what, here's the hot sauce. I'll steal that. Alright, there you go. Is this supposed to be a hard side down? Um, I think it's a smooth side down. Smooth side down so that the um, texture... Let him... Let's make your own here. In case he wants another one. Alright, do you want just the rice or do you want it with the uh, coconut aminos in it? I want that. Okay. Wait, let me taste it first or taste this first? Taste that first. Okay. Taste this first. I want to taste both. Tastes like soy sauce. Okay, hold your spoon. All right, let me know if you like it. Yes? It tastes like um, the stuff they give you when they at hibachi places. Okay. Well, what do I do with this? Thing? Okay, may I get my own cup thing for? Oh, for your rice? Actually, this is all yours because I gave him half, so that's all yours. Mm. How was it? Do you have any words? No. Mm -hmm. mm. You got another one? You can make another one. You got ingredients. Right, I'm right. running low on uh, avocado. That's the only thing. So that. Jeez. Okay, no more until your brother makes one, please. Are you, are you making one out? Yes, I am. I would prefer that you got another one. Mine's not as good as yours. We talk. We talk, Mom. That stuff's pretty good. I'm just kissing it. Is this yours? Yes, you can have it. Hello, Lauren. Our cruise consultant is here. Someone was just asking for the link. So Alex is making his sushi roll. We all know we had tomorrow is the deadline if you want to reserve your spot. Mmm, rice. The rice is good. Jamal says it looks good. Thank you. Alex is doing a good job spreading it out. How many of those would y'all eat? Let me four. Four? Oh, my God. I don't have enough for four, but y'all can have all of it. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My first time seeing you here, Jamal. Thank you. I'm right. gonna eat that later. Yeah, or you can make a second one. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you all can get the kids in the kitchen with them. Kids in the kitchen with you. They've been cooking since they were little. Really? Uh, Hello, fresh. All that stuff. You don't remember? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Does Miss Krista still work with her for fresh? Mm -mm, she's got another job. Hello, spokesperson. Ooh, Lauren is extending the deposit deadline. The rooms are first come, first booked. We just had someone book today, so if you all want to meet me on the high seas. <laughs> Wait, you're going on a cruise? You're cruising on the high seas, Mom. Yes, uh, for my going, birthday. You're oh, leaving yeah. me here? Yes. Mom, you're going on a cruise with him? on the high seas. No, even me with him. Okay, can we focus, please? I, I'm not good at that. All right, um, you can go ahead and take the rest. Do you want me to make boiled eggs since we're out of avocado for the next one? You want soft boiled eggs? Mm. What else? Excellent. Cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Do you want any green onion? I have 34 people staring at me. Isn't that awesome? Yes, please. Marcus. To the... You want the sesame seed? Yes, please. Oh, it's right there. Did 
do. You want mayo? A Miracle Whip is a... A dessert? No, go ahead. Wait, tell me what it is. I thought it was mayo. It's just creamy mayo and tangy dressing. Okay. Bob, what is it? Hmm. What else? Mm. Sriracha sauce. No, he doesn't like it spicy. It is super spicy. Hello. What? Hello. Who's that mean? Endless Spokesman. That's his name. He said something. Okay. Would you like a napkin? That's really good. It's good? Um, my hands are full. I kind of feel bad for you. Okay, you can take take your plate, please. I was just watching me eat all this good food. You can go to the table. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. All right, did you have any feedback about how... Oh, yeah. Um, the rice paper was, like, kind of chewy. Okay. I guess it's there for, like, silly. Would you make it again with rice paper or no rice paper? I'll try it without rice paper. Okay. Do you want me to show you how to make that French omelet while I'm making the eggs? Tell me. Yes. Because I have to, okay. Oh I'm, no, what happened to all the cucumber? Oh, what happened yeah. to all the cucumber? Okay, so we are going to... Thanks, Mom. Who's older? You're welcome. So Marcus is 15. All right, come here. Come here. I'm finished. All right, so... <laughs> He's only taller because of his hair. Just making sure of that. No one cares. 15, 13. This is what I deal with, all right? You got food all over your mouth. Are you not saving it for another one? That was the rice. I would eat them all. Okay, can you please go? I'm gonna show Marcus how to make a French omelet. Marcus asked me how to make a French omelet yesterday, so I'm gonna show you all. We're just gonna move this. The greedy gong gongs are here. So yeah, I'm gonna go behind the scenes now. Yeah. Okay, no, you need to, I'm gonna show you how to make something. I'm gonna make a second one. Oh. Yeah, but the egg, that's why I said. Right. Okay. okay, wait. Okay. So we're gonna do a quick French omelet. So you all, no. Put your plate in the in the sink. Put your trash in the trash. I was gonna make another one. You can. Do you want egg instead of avocado? I'll eat anything. The rice bowl goes in the trash. I am cooking the egg right now, so it's gonna take a minute. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Bye-bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Jesus, man. I'm going to move the ingredients to the back, and then Thanks. we'll bring them back out when the eggs are done, okay? Oh, yeah. Is this yours? No, this Yeah, it is. It doesn't matter. All right, stand by. <laughs> Look, I'm cooking these eggs. If you eat all the cucumber, that's all we had, okay? I don't have to touch them anymore. I never touch them. Okay. Don't finish it. I'll make another one. Okay. Let me clean off the counters. French omelet is very simple, just two ingredients. It's really just eggs and butter. But um, the technique is um, a little bit complex. It just takes some practice. So I am going to show you all how to make one because Marcus wants to learn how to make one. Um, I'll make a two egg omelet and then um, we'll let him copy me if he can. That is correct, Jamal. What happened? Uh, I'm talking just, about me. Just E says, I'm going to try and switch the meat with avocado. Absolutely, y'all. So I'm just giving you all some ideas. So really what's nice about this sushi wrap, I have tried to make proper sushi where you roll it up tight and then you put it in a, um, you slice it into the little pieces. I struggle when I go to cut it 
Y'all eat up all that salmon. I, I, there won't be any I left. the small piece. Stop it I want it here where I can see it. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, so let me get the cooktop. All you need is uh, eggs, a good nonstick skillet, and butter. All right, so let me grab that. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. You see what I mean? Anyway, um, yes, you guys can actually absolutely, absolutely make this uh, vegetarian. If you want to make it vegetarian, you could do egg as your protein. If you want to do it vegan, you could do avocado for your protein, onion, peppers, um, you know, tuna if you eat it, salmon if you eat it, whatever you all like. Now let's get our skillet. Okay, so in France, they pride themselves on really simple ingredients, but very good quality ingredients. So I'm gonna use real butter for this for Marcus. Yeah, she turned it herself. What? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? Even though it may not look like it, we're actually Amish. Marcus! There's a cow behind the camera. What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're traditional Amish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. The fridge doesn't count. Okay. Um, I'm using regular Lando Lakes butter. Okay, so this is salted butter. You could use unsalted if you want. I have one that's open. Um, so this is what we're going to use. Um, and just regular Publix eggs, okay? If you have organic farm raised, all of that. Yeah, we actually have our own farm in the barn back there too. Okay. All right, watch. You want a container. I'm using a little gravy boat because it's going to be easy to pour. So we are going to crack two eggs. I made that boat. I use my glass, my glass boat. So. All right, so we're cracking two eggs. You can make this as big or as small as you want, but I like a two egg omelet for this skillet. Um, because of the technique I'm going to show you all. all right. I'm going to make one plain, but you could put uh, cheese in here if you wanted to. I like a little bit of chives. Uh, I'll show you. All right. So I'm using whole eggs. For this, I would use regular whole eggs. I wouldn't do the pourable eggs. Okay. So two eggs in a gravy boat for me. Could you get a chopstick for me, please? I like to beat with a chopstick. Okay, so here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the skillet. Now you wanna turn, and I need a, um, it's been a while since I've done it. Let's do this one. I'm going, I've got a spatula. Honestly, you could use, it's been a while since I've done it. Maybe the, the chopstick will work, but we'll see. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm going to do like a full tablespoon of butter. We want enough butter to melt in the pan and go all the way to the sides and almost up on the rim a little bit. So let's turn this on medium. Okay, so I'm gonna cut butter. I forced that knife. All right, so we're gonna get that to melt. Thank you all for the hearts. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes, happy Mother's Day. Yes, that's one word for it. Okay, so this is melting. Now here's the thing. Uh, I'll salt the eggs just a little bit. Can you drink? So I'm gonna salt. All right. 
So we want to beat this well. The key to the French omelet is that the consistency is yellow all the way through, okay? We don't want to have little pockets of white, which is the egg white. We don't want pockets of yellow. So you want to beat it very, very well. Excellent. Get the butter to melt, and you want the butter to melt all the way down, but you want to get it as soon as it melts and gets foamy. Excellent. So careful, that's hot. Oh, I wouldn't burn you. Okay, that's good. Set it down. All right, so as soon as the butter starts foaming, that's when we put it down. And so you want to beat your eggs and then put them directly into the pan. Okay, so this is good. So I'm going to pour. And I'm going to use the spatula. And jiggle the pan at the same time. You want to get these curdles in here. See what's happening? It's kind of hard. But you want to get that nice creamy. <laughs> No. Oh. All right. You want to try and get it kind of creamy, and then you want to get it up on the sides. All right. Then once it sets on the sides, we're going to roll it into itself, okay? So the outside will be set, and then the inside is still going to be a little bit curdly, okay? That's... So what I usually do is I kind of go underneath with one hand and then we're going to roll it into itself. So usually if you can kind of get the lip up and kind of do one little flap and then you just keep rolling it down almost like a little burrito. And the key with the French omelet, can you bring a plate please? The key with the French omelet is that there's no browning. It's all yellow. <gasps> Set it down. And then sometimes you need to tuck that little one in or just fold it. I'm gonna try and get it out. There we go. You wanna kind of get it to seal on itself. Let's see. There we go. That is the perfect French omelet. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of chives on it. I know it looks like a little bit of a weird burrito. Mm -hmm. Very careful, babe. But hold on, I'm gonna give you a fork. Wait, yeah. Thank you. Do you want a little bit of chives on there? Yep. Okay. So you could have put some cheese in there, literally, and fresh chives would be better. I've got the dried ones because <laughs> whatnot. But when you cut into it, I'm gonna cut into it just so they can see, okay, babe? So the out. Wait. Oh, not to eat. Okay, so the outside is set, but if you noticed on the inside, we had it uh, still kind of curdly. So when you cut into it, you see our word. You have like, oh, it's hard to see. You see how you have like a nice creamy texture on the inside. Where did you walk? All right, taste. And that is a French omelet. <laughs> How is it? The only thing in here is eggs. Yeah, see, the only thing in there is eggs. This is actually what he said is true. It almost tastes like there's some cheese on the inside because the inside is so creamy. Thank you, Justy. The inside is so creamy. So if you're, oh, hello, Christopher Williams. If you're trying to avoid dairy, but you want that experience of like a cheese egg, this is what you do. <laughs> Yummy? May I taste a little? Yeah, yeah, you, you do all the explaining. First. I do all the explaining. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna taste the end here. No. Ooh, it's so good because you have the butter from the pan. You taste the butter. What is she talking about? Can you talk to with a mouthful of food, y'all? What she said. Yeah, but anyway, what I'm saying is that that cross section. So you have like on the inside. 
And honestly, you want to take it off before it sets. Mm -hmm. So it would almost be kind of like wet and curdly on the inside, yeah. but the ingredient is just egg. Mm -hmm. So if. Uh, yeah, just take it off like a few seconds here. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try to make one or you're good? You just wanted me to make it? I want to, I want to try it. Okay, finish that one. I don't know if they want you to. Do you want to? I've, the eggs are done. How about you make your. Sure. Oh, or do you? I'm sorry. You want to try one? I'll let you try one. But if I try this, will you still eat the? Okay. So Marcus is going to try. It's perfect. Yes, absolutely. French omelets. All right. Thank you all so much. So Marcus is going to try to make one. No, don't put bacon. No, so if you were to eat this um, like in French cuisine, again, just really good quality butter, really good quality eggs, but that technique of getting those... Cr I'm sorry, can I do it? Yes, the technique of getting those curdles in there so it simulates creamy cheese, but it's not cheese. <laughs> they say you're gonna waste it. Okay, Marcus is gonna try. Yes. All right, so you need your uh, skillet. Yes, they're hating on you. I wonder why. First he was a snitch. Now he's saying I can't do that. We're not going to talk like that here. May I please have a paper towel? I'm going to wipe it clean, and you're going to start from the beginning, just like I did. So, again, the key is you want... Oh, yeah, I've been teaching the boy. They really do know how to cook. Marcus makes a ramen bowl. What's your favorite thing to cook? Cereal. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The key to it, you all, is you really need a really good non-stick. If you tried to use, I'm going to show you all the pans that I let the boys use. Those are like eight years old. Exactly. This is what I let the boys use, okay? <laughs> this is what I say for you all. So you don't want to use this type of pan because when you try to roll it off clean, you won't get that smooth, silky edge. Okay, so these are just tasty pans from Walmart. But you want to make sure you get a good nonstick. That's the key. Yep. Okay, um, here is your butter. Here is your... Yeah, turn it on. I would let, uh, leave it on medium. Yep. It's already over. You got to turn it on for power. Butter. One tablespoon of butter, one pat. Okay, a tablespoon. You see the marking? One tablespoon. Yes. Okay. And shout out to Christopher Williams, who sponsored someone to go on the cruise today. They have already been, um, uh, their deposit has been paid. So thank you, Christopher Williams. But let me be quiet so Marcus can do his um, fresh on I need to focus, Mom. Focus. Do you remember what I said about what you need to do as soon as it starts foaming? Turn the heat down. Oh, you need to beat the eggs. You're welcome, Carlos. <laughs> How do I turn the heat down? You don't turn the heat down. You want it at this temperature so that it's foaming. Yep. I use chopsticks. If you don't have chopstick, you can use a small spoon, but you want to use a, a wooden spoon. You don't want to use a um, metal spoon to scratch. Plastic is done too. See what's happening here? If you put the butter in too soon, you see how this brown is happening? Your omelet is going to be brown. Go ahead. Ooh. So, like, do I take this out? No. Why? Keep going. See? She's mocking me. Good? Yes. See, there's some encouragement. They they think I can do it. Okay, I, don't, I forgot what happened next. You oh, yeah, curve. Oh no. 
Yeah, see what's happening? When the reason why it's brown is because we got the butter too hot. All right, now, what? Okay. Okay, I... Are you just making a scramble or... Scrambled egg tomorrow. Okay. You want just scrambled egg or do you want to try again? Do you want me to tell you what you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. In all seriousness, you put the butter in first. I would have beat the eggs first. So as soon as it goes, because butter goes from solid to melted to foaming to burnt that fast. So next time, or go ahead and do it again, crack your eggs and beat your eggs. They were crack eggs. There you go. I'm gonna wipe this out so you don't have any burnt butter because a French omelet does not have any browning like an American omelet. You want that golden yellow. So yes, yeah, so what I do, you're doing perfect. What I do is I beat it and I get it all. I'm looking to make sure there's no clear and there's no yellow. So as soon as I get it all mixed like this, now I would put my butter in and then I would just keep beating that, no, focus. I would keep beating this and as soon as the butter goes from solid to liquid to melting to foamy, then you pour, okay? You wanna try again? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, plug it up, tablespoon of butter. Yep. There you go. And the reason why you don't turn it down is because you want it hot enough so that you can get it to set all the way in it. Uh-uh, let it melt. It is melt. Let it melt. Keep stirring this. Watch it. Once that pat, you need to be able to stir this and look at this. So once this pat melts all the way down to liquid, then move it around the pan. Okay, notice how it's starting to foam and melt. You're good, you can, yeah, you can melt, you move it. You don't have to do it hard, just little on the wrist because it's gonna melt fast. All right, now set it down, set it down. As soon as that goes away, keep feeding this and then pour before it gets brown. You want it foaming, not brown, excellent. Now set that down, use your left hand to jiggle the pan, keep it moving and get the, spatula or yep and careful there you go there you go curdles yep there you go there you go there you go there you go mm-hmm mm-hmm good 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 all right if you want it a little bit softer good now i would tilt it to close up that spot while it's still wet tilt it there you go excellent no way. okay now let's turn it off the heat you can take it off the now to roll it what I would do, I'm sorry, babe. I go underneath here with my hand and lift it up. I start here, get that little flap, one little flap in, go around, mm hmm. But go around the edge with the spatula. There you go. Get one flap down. Careful. Yep. Careful. Yep. And then just keep rolling it into itself. Excellent. You're doing great, babe. Keep rolling it. Before you move, so this, hold up, hold up, hold up, this little lip. Mm -hmm. Come up underneath here and hold it underneath there. Flap it up, like close it. There you go. Flap it down, down, down. Perfect! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm so proud of you! Oh, did you salt the eggs? That was not supposed to. <sighs> okay, you can salt a little bit now or taste it, but... The problem is if you have a little salt in there, then it'll be on the inside. Do you want the chives or no chives? Little chives? <laughs> you did so good. <laughs> All right, let me get you a fork and now taste it. Now the good news is we use, okay, you can use that fork. I was gonna get you a clean one. You did so good. Can I take your picture? Just hold your plate. One second, y'all. This is what I used to do with the kids. <laughs> hold up your plate. Let me see. <laughs> Marcus.
just made a French omelet. All right, look at me. Okay. All right, now taste it and let us know how it is. <laughs> how does it look? Yeah, Where's you it? hold it down. Yeah, sometimes the light. Hmm? Um, let's see. That ring light gets really bright. Sometimes I have to get, there you go. Excellent. You did a great job. Now that we use salted butter, so it may. Is it good? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. May I taste the other side just to see? How is the texture? How is the creaminess? It's, it's like yours. You did it like mine? Excellent. OK. Mm. Very good. But you see how you have a salt on top? If you had salted the eggs in here. I didn't put any salt on top. Oh, you didn't put any salt? OK. What I would do next time is just put salt in here. I put pepper? Yeah, you can put pepper. Absolutely. Now, the, um, the proper French way, let me know when. <laughs> OK. The proper French way is um, just the Americans might think that French fruit is kind of bland. It's not. Our palates are used to the ketchup and the hot sauce and all that stuff. Hey, peace. They just use really simple ingredients, really good quality butter, really good quality eggs. And then that technique gives you that creaminess. Oh, my God. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Yummy? I made these eggs myself. You did? I'm so proud of you, sweetie. You made it for it. Now, it's harder than it looks, right? Let's talk about <laughs> All right, let me give you your um but, yeah, I, I did it. You did it. So you can make bacon on the side. Um you can put fruit on the side. I saw Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay? Yes, Gordon Ramsay. Someone said something about Gordon Ramsay. Oh, try Gordon Ramsay's method with creme fraiche. So yes, so those of you all, so now you've got the basics. So what you could do if you want even more, once you have it in the skillet before you roll it into itself and the rolling keeps it hot um because you have the um mm -hmm. you know when you when you spread it out <laughs> on a pan like on a plate like this yeah yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it's okay but when you spread it out like that then the heat will disperse but when you roll it into itself then it keeps the heat you could do like a melting shredded cheese you could do like a feta cheese you could do the creme fraiche which is like um it's like a creamy cheese, like a cream cheese. And then, oh, so good. So, so good. They said, good job, Marcus. Uh, Drew says, let me go try and make a French omelet. Come on, Marcus, you can do it. I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> He's so proud. OK, now I'm going to get your eggs out, and you can finish your last sushi roll, and then we will be done. <laughs> oh, yeah. You still going to eat it? Yeah. OK. I'm so proud of you. Is it harder than it looks? Seriously? Yeah. It's harder. What's hard about yeah. it? Seconds. The timing, right? Yeah. If, if, if You don't have 15 extra seconds. Exactly. Yeah. Butter. You got to be careful with butter. Butter can go from solid to liquid to foamy to brown to burnt that quickly. If you're making toffee, that's fine. But for a French egg, you want it yellow. You don't want it brown like an American omelet. And that's one of the first tests they give you in culinary school. I've never been to culinary school, but oh, I'm so proud. OK, you can't tell. Oh, thank you, sweetie. OK, let me get you. <clears throat> I got to. <laughs> I made them soft, babe. No. But they've been sitting here for a second, so it is what it is. So the difference, just so you all know, American omelet, think of the trifold, so you'll scramble it. You may have a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, but it's when it's flat, you kind of fold it like, you know, like this and like this, you know, threefold omelet, but the French omelet you roll, okay? Little things like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I'm so proud of you. And that's a nice, um, you know, simple ingredients to impress. Oh, yeah, I'm just. Beef, beef the egg, add salt, mm -hmm. medium heat, mm -hmm. butter, mm -hmm. pour, mm -hmm. 
shake. Mm-hmm. Curdle. Mm-hmm. New, um, then fold. Roll. Get rolled. You got it. The no heat. Yeah, take it off the heat. As soon as the outside edges are set, yeah, you can go ahead and slice it up the way you want. Yeah, I think these are soft. Sorry, I should have taken them out. <laughs> You'll be all right. All right, now for your, um, oh. it's the other one. All right, yeah. Okay, so let me, right here. So I'm just gonna show you all. I was trying to do soft boiled eggs, but we had a lot going on. So for your omelet, a I was, I would slice it like avocado, okay? You yeah. know, just, all right. You can go ahead and get your ingredients, your rice. Whatever's left. Where do you put the paper? Oh, the sushi paper? Right here. You want the rice paper too? Oh, you're gonna make it without rice paper, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, she's gonna like that sushi though. <laughs> I just want it to be nice. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Uh, what's that? Rice, rice, baby. <laughs> okay. okay, Jamal says in a French omelet, are the eggs done inside? Oyster sauce. I told that's why I get a clean spoon every time. Ugh. So the eggs on the inside are slightly soft, Jamal, Ugh. but they continue to cook when you take them out. That's why you roll them into itself. Yeah. And you want them a little bit wet on the inside, not raw, but a little bit wet so you get that creaminess, right? Take them off before you think they're done. Here you go. Get your rice. The rest are a little so cold. That's okay. You want me to microwave it? Fine. And you can finish the cucumber now. Mm. <laughs> yes, Marcus made his own food. The cocoa aminos is a little bit sweeter. Oh, you like that? Okay. I mean, yeah. Oh, that's fine. I think it's fine. It'll be fine. You did great. Oh, yes, two eggs. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. So here are your options for your French omelet. Number one, get a nonstick skillet. Very good quality, no scratches, okay? Nonstick skillet. You can get one at Walmart, but you want it to be really, really nice, okay? And smooth. Why can't it have scratches? If it has scratches in it, babe, when you try to roll it, what's going to happen is some of it's going to stay on the pan and some of it's going to pull, then you'll have that jagged edge and you want a very nice, smooth French omelet, okay? Yeah. Then you want real butter. The French use real butter, okay? So this no. is not... Yeah. Alex, you want scrambled eggs? You want scrambled eggs? I want food. Okay. I made some. Um, Is this for me? You can have it. Yeah, that's made specifically for you. Thank you, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then two eggs, one tablespoon of butter. Okay, oh. I would start beating the eggs um, before I melt the butter. If you're really good at timing, here I am. If you're really good at timing, then um, you can do both at the same time. But uh, while you're practicing. Alex, how are your scrambled eggs? Basically, it's just calling me an amateur. You are. That's okay. We all learn. Meanwhile, over here, who said it was going to waste? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, keep going, babe. How are you doing? Yeah. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Did you want to make the last? Um, yes. Okay, sushi wrap. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Excellent. You want the sesame? Sauce. Here. Which one? The Sauce. aminos. Sauce. There you go. Or sriracha. This is not sesame. No, I'm sorry. Here's the sesame seeds. And you want a sriracha? It's not just spicy. It is. You won't like it's it. It's not spicy, Alex. Here, try it. Come on. No, no, no. Give me your no, finger. No, no. You gotta try. 
Amateur is better than non -do non-doer. Exactly. Get the kids in the kitchen with y'all. They can learn. They can do it. It's a life skill. It's really good that everybody knows how to feed themselves. Of course, it's great if you have someone to cook for you, but if you don't, who, who has someone to cook for you? That's it's, so extra. Let me see. Let me see. Here, sing up. No, we don't have mail. It, um, I have the miracle whip, but I don't know if you want to use that. I thought I had regular, just regular Hellman's mayo. I'm holding it down. Okay. What did I tell you, Alex? What did I say to you? <clears throat> Is it spicy, Alex? Yeah. So go ahead and drink up. Yeah. Okay. Mark, yes. Come on. How is it with the egg? I didn't know. Okay. I'll let you take this behind you. Let Alex do his last one. Did you want a French omelet or you're okay? Just a little everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my hands are bad. I'll set you down over here. Alex, was this your plate? No. Mm -hmm. I put my plate in the sink. This is good. It's good? I want everything. I'll make one more French omelet that Alex can have, and I'll show you exactly how to do it, okay? So you all, seaweed paper, here. How many sheets are there? Uh, there's plenty of sheets. Okay, I'm going to eat them. You said hard soft side down, right? Yeah. Smooth side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rice. You ate it. Okay. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. I think Marcus just finished them. Okay. Mm. Let me see if I. We're running out of ingredients. Oh, I have some cucumbers. This is no, it's soft. It's no good. Oh no. I guess I'm gonna make a herbal food. I have peppers, green pepper, red pepper. No? Yes. Green pepper, red pepper? Yes. Alex, where are the scissors? Oh. Alex. I just have red pepper, sorry. Does anyone else? Can no, go ahead, same? finish the salmon. Wait a minute. Oh. The whole Don't pack is gone. Mouth. No, put it in my mouth. No, put it in my mouth. Stop. Something fishy is going on here. Mm. You don't want this. Hey, you don't want it. You only make one. Oh, y'all ate the. I'm like, where is the red pepper? Y'all ate it. You took the red pepper to your room yesterday? Yep, you cut it up. Oh, right no. up. That was good. It was good. All right, I'll cut this one up. I ran out of egg. Marcus, why'd you have to eat that egg? No, I have more eggs. Hold on. It's Hold. okay. Hmm. It's right here. No, I'm missing two. I'm coming. No, I'm talking about Here. Um, thank you. That's an awesome mother right there. <laughs> oh, thank you. I guess so. All right, here you go. I would cut them in half and then put the flat side down and then cut them in strips. Yes, my mom is a retired home si home science teacher. That's what Nana taught me. That's what the boys. Can you tell you how to make a French omelet? No, I learned how to make a French omelet. All right, let me cut this pepper for you. <coughs> what did you do? <coughs> oh my gosh. Too much avocado? Onion. The onion seasoning? No, the onion. <coughs> Pepper, sweet red pepper. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, there you go. But you all see how it is. Just get the ingredients that you have and put it together. All right, so you got your salmon. Salmon. All right, we'll make one last two 
two egg and French omelet. So you can see me do it. I'll give it to Alex so everybody has the same. All right. And then we will be done because y'all have eaten everything. Oh, you want some more? I'm going to try this. Oh, wow. Mm, yes, protein. Yes. All the protein growing boys. I cut this egg for you. Oh, you did it separate. <clears throat> All right. I don't even know if we got a picture of it, but. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, can you. I forgot something. Okay, can you step behind? Man. Yeah. Can you do, just take it over there? All right. So I'm going to make one last French omelet. I'm going to make this for Alex so you all can see the technique. I have two eggs left to my name. So we're going to use it all to feed the boys, okay? Alex, how is your... Um, how is your uh, sushi? Okay. Can you do that over there, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <sighs> Hello, Whitney. Whew. How is it? You got food all over your mouth. You look homeless. You're gone. <laughs> okay. We're going to do this one last time. Marcus, right. here. That, that. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you. All right. Can you go blow your nose over there? Stop. I didn't know I had to blow my nose. You keep sucking it up. No. Yeah. All right, y'all. Last time. French omelet. All right. I'm going to tell you what to do and how to do it from the beginning. First, you need a cooktop or a stove. Either one is fine. You want to cook this on <clears throat> medium or medium high. Medium high. Oh, we're doing it different than we did yesterday. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. The reason why you want to cook it on medium or medium and high is that you want it to, uh, you want the eggs to set on the bottom, but you're going to go fast because a French omelet should be yellow. It should not be brown, okay? American omelet, Western omelet has the browning on it from the butter or whatnot. You wanna catch it before it browns. <sighs> yes, we are trying. <clears throat> All right, let me clean my hands. I'm gonna wash out this skillet really quick. <clears throat> Non-stick skillet, you don't want one with scratches or anything like that. Because to roll it and to get that smooth surface, you need a really good quality. You don't have to spend much, it could be $10, but you just wanna get a really good non-stick skillet. So let me just dry this so you all can see. Okay. All right, welcome to Only Pans, okay? So you have your non-stick skillet. For the French omelet, you want real butter, real quality, good quality butter, not margarine. I wouldn't do it in olive oil. You could, but you want that butter flavor. That's what helps with the creaminess. If you're vegan, well, if you're vegan, you wouldn't do an omelet. So yeah, all right. So we're gonna use Land O'Lakes. Now, if you're just beginning, this is what I did to practice. I will go ahead and put my butter in the pan cold so it's ready to go. Um, make a clean knife. <clears throat> All right, and you want a tablespoon of butter, like a good pat, like this much, okay? So you want a full pat of butter, a full tablespoon. All right, so if you, if you don't like, can we not do that now? Just open the door for him. 
All right, so the skillet is off, okay? But I just have this here. The reason, can you come over here? Can you Our stay over here? Learning. Not you. Can you come over here? I'm cooking this for you. All right, so the skillet is off right now. And the reason why is I need to get my eggs together. If I had this on, what happened with Marcus is that your butter will melt and turn brown before you're ready to pour your eggs in there. Once your butter is brown, it's not a French omelet. You can scramble eggs or make an American omelet, but not a French omelet. Okay, next thing, two eggs. I had a great both. No, I want to use a clean one. Oh. All right, let me just use, I'll just use a bowl. Oh, it's here. I knew I had two. All right, so you just want a bowl that you can pour out of. I like the gravy boat because it's got a handle and a spout. Okay, but you can use a bowl, that's fine too. I got two whole eggs left, one and two. And I'm using real eggs. On this, I wouldn't use egg beaters, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and crack our eggs into our gravy boat or our boil, or our bowl. And literally I just crack it and then use my thumbs upside down to kind of peel it apart from each other into the bowl, okay? You can practice cracking eggs. So literally just crack to make a dent and then I use my fingers to kind of pull it apart into the bowl. You sure right. know how to do everything. I am, not right. everybody knows how to cook. How to crack eggs. Okay, now you want to salt your eggs. I will. You're welcome. Get your stuff ready. We're, we we go after this. Go to my pepper. Go to school. No. Yeah. Marcus, please take your apron off. Now you want to salt your eggs. Okay. How much salt? Teaspoon. But you just want to salt them enough so that they have some flavor, some character in them. Okay. If you salt it afterward, that's fine. But you do want flavor all the way through when you bite it. Now, if you feel like you can move fast enough, you can go ahead and turn on the skillet. But as soon as you turn on the skillet, the butter is going to start to melt. So you want to make sure you're ready. What I would have with you is I would have a spatula. I'll use a wooden one. For nonstick, wooden, plastic, silicone, you just don't want to use anything that will scratch. Okay, so have this ready to go. All right. So now I'll just get a spoon. Or a fork, not a spoon. So I'm going to do two things at the same time. I'm going to turn on the stove and let the butter start melting. While the butter is melting, I'm going to continuously beat these eggs. You want to beat them so you don't have any white and any yellow separated. Can you go ahead and get me a plate ready to pour? Turn it on medium and start beating the eggs. Don't worry about it. Sorry, all this loud. And once the eggs are mixed, honestly, I just keep it moving so that they don't separate while I'm waiting for the butter to melt. If you're really good, you can go ahead and turn on the butter and then beat your eggs really fast and pour. But while you're practicing, I would make sure you have everything ready. Now I'm just moving it around so that it melts and I'm watching it. As soon as I don't have a solid pat of butter anymore and it turns into liquid and starts foaming. Can you go over there with that? That's why I use chopsticks y'all because it's so loud. So notice how the, bub the butter is starting to like percolate. All right. And the whipping gets air into the eggs. All right, so now I'm ready to pour, all right? So I'm gonna pour all the eggs into the skillet. And then you want to use one hand to constantly jiggle the pan. While you're jiggling, you wanna kinda 
scrape up a little bit to get those curdles. It's those curdles that give you the imitation of cheesiness without cheese, okay? So, but I wanna make sure that I have a solid, I don't have any holes in the pan, in the eggs. The reason why is because when I roll it, I want that smooth surface. Now, I'm gonna stop a little bit and just kind of move that egg around. As soon as the edges are set, then we're gonna fold it, all right? So it's looking pretty good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the skillet. Now, so as long as you take it off the heat, you can do this next part slow, but it's the one hand to jiggle and one hand to kind of lightly scramble, okay? So now to roll it into itself, I get it underhanded like this, and I use gravity to kind of tilt it up. Then what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get one lip. I need the real spatula, that's not gonna. Right. Need to get up underneath here. And I use it to kind of just flip over one side. Once you get a little bit going, then literally you just use gravity to continue to roll it into itself. And again, all yellow, no brown, okay? Keep going, keep going. Now, the last little bit lip you have at the end, what you can do is you can kind of tilt that in to tuck it in like blue. I wanted a plate. All right. So, this will stay warm. So if you need to keep it while you get a few other things ready, cut up some fruit, it'll stay warm on itself. And then what I do to roll it into the pan so that it folds out on the pan, I kind of use a spatula to kind of tuck it in and just, there you go. Whew. Seam side down. Can I have a napkin to clean this up? Okay. So I messed up a little bit. I'm going to show you all why. All right, so it should look like a little burrito. So you can see the, you can hardly see. Oh, you see how it's kind of tapered on the edge? Let me see. The ring light. I know, if I get close sometimes. Okay, notice how it's kind of tapered on the edge. That is correct. But you notice how I have a little spot of <clears throat> white on the top. That means I didn't beat it all the way, but it's fine. So this is the perfect French omelet. If you wanted cheese in it before you roll it up, you could sprinkle a little bit of cheese. Do you want some chives on there? No. No chives? No. Okay. Pepper, anything? No. Okay. So we're going to let Alex taste it. This is your French omelet. Can you get a fork, please? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna Let me let him taste it, and then we're going to close it out. Oh, I forgot to plug that up. How is it? Delicious. What do you think about the texture? Creamy. Creamy. Does it almost taste like there's it's cheese? It's light and fluffy. Does it almost taste like there's cheese in there with no cheese? Kind of. All right, so I hope that helped. Carlos, I think you were it's asking. Hot, it's hot. It's still hot on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rolling it up like that, that technique gives you, um, it holds the heat inside. All right, you can take it behind you. Let me go ahead and close it out. Let's not use our fingers to push it onto the plate, please, onto the fork, please. Thank you. All right, everyone. Well, Another labor of love. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for helping me to monetize my passion for food as a mom. I appreciate it. It pays for private school and groceries. As y'all can tell, the boys are always eating. I do have a course on how I got monetized. Oh, Cargo says that helped. Oh, you'll practice it. Wonderful. Please keep me posted. Look, if Marcus can do it in two tries, you can do it. It was delicious. Oh, hot. It's hot? Okay. Thank you. I want to do that. Okay, well, we're out of eggs. <laughs> we'll, we'll use the monetization for the egg fund. Thank you, Mona. All right, everyone, um, until the next time I buy groceries, let me give you guys the commercial. If you want to know how I got monetized so quickly, I do have a course. Uh, the course shows you 
my road to monetization. Most new YouTube channels take a year. I was monetized in four months, yes. And I showed my whole approach to everything there. Um, what was I going to say? Um, screenshots, everything. It's $50. You have lifetime access. Uh, you can preview it for free. If you have a YouTube channel and you're not monetized or you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you want to know how the income part works, uh, you can take a look at it. We also have the cruise. Y'all know that we are going to be going on a cruise later this year. I would love to uh, see you all there. Deposits are first come, first booked. I think we have five um, rooms available for balcony. So you all can um, go to the link and check in with um, Lauren, our travel agent. Once you put your deposit down, you get your email confirmation from Royal Caribbean. You can see everything, your room number, all of that stuff. And then final payment is September. We will be cruising in November. I do have a cookbook. If you all are interested, you can uh, get the Maggie cookbook. It's a digital download. Link is in the description. And I do have a discount code for you, um, $5 off with the code cookbook. You can read the recipe and or you can watch me make it. So the digital download has a video. And as we update it, if you buy it, you'll always get the latest version for free. Um, consultations, if you wanna book a Maggie reading, several of you that do consults with me are watching. I appreciate you all. Uh, you can book a Maggie meeting and talk to me one-on-one -on -one about etiquette, relationships, femininity, uh, cooking, probably not parenting, cause I'm struggling y'all, even on Mother's Day. Um, course, cookbook, and then the community. Uh, if you're interested, the Patreon, I have a dollar level and a $5 level. Um, I post there every day about my etiquette journey. Um, and then the, the Patreon, I'm sorry, the YouTube memberships at the $5 level, you get the course and the cookbook included for free. I appreciate those of y'all uh, supporting. And I think that's everything y'all. So we did a lot tonight, sushi wraps for the kids. I showed you all how to make a French omelet. Marcus made a French omelet. Um, so I've got a kitchen to clean up. Oh, Carlos sent a $3 super sticker. I appreciate it. I will receive it gladly. I appreciate you so much. My first time seeing you here and uh, I'm glad this was helpful for you and you came through uh, with gifts. So I appreciate it. Justy says, go you girl. I need this for my music. I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Um, yes, thank you. All right, everyone. Yes, tag me. If y'all make anything, please tag me. Thank you. I think we got everything. I think we got everything. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Grandmother's Day. Happy uh, Spiritual Mother's Day. Happy To Be Mother's Day. All of that. Y'all know the struggle. I'm just a mom and a home cook. So my battery went out on TikTok, but Instagram, we're going to go ahead and dismiss. Let me make sure I say hello to everybody who came in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, so many hands. All right, everybody, class is dismissed. And Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. I will see you all tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Monday. So I'll be making dinner. Same time. What are we making? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Marcus will be back at his dad's and Alex will be in boarding school. So it'll be just me and hopefully, or maybe we'll do ask me anything. I don't know y'all, but uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Black. I appreciate it. All right, y'all, class is dismissed. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>